If you get a pop-up on your phone that says you have a virus or you suspect that maybe your iPhone is infected with malware, there are four different things that I would recommend you do immediately before you do anything else. The very first thing that you should do is head into the settings app of your phone. Open up the settings app. And once you've opened up the settings, let's go to your Safari settings. So scroll to the very bottom and tap on the apps option. Now from here, we're going to get to your Safari settings because a lot of times when you're browsing websites, that is a huge culprit in terms of downloading viruses to your phone. So scroll down until you get to Safari and tap on that. Now from here, all we're going to do is scroll down. You can see as I scroll down, it says history and website data. Let's hit the clear history and web data. Let's choose all time, all profiles and close the tabs. This is really important again, because a lot of times those viruses are downloaded onto your iPhone from a website. So hit the clear history and wipe everything out. After you've done that, let's go up a little bit and under privacy and security, make sure everything is turned on, including, and really importantly, this fraudulent website warning. Make sure that is turned on. After you've done that, the next thing we're going to check to see is a lot of times viruses are downloaded into the files app on your iPhone. So let's find the files app just by swiping to the left until you get to the app library. And we're going to search for files here and open it up. This is a default Apple app here. Let's tap the browse at the top left to go all the way back. And from here, we're going to tap on my iPhone. You're going to check to see if there's anything downloaded on your iPhone that you don't recognize. So if there is a PDF on here that you don't recognize, or especially if there's a zipped file or any other file that you don't know what it is, either in here or in the downloads, you want to make sure you delete it. And to delete it, you can tap the three dots at the top, right? Tap the select and then select that file that you don't recognize and hit the delete button. This will delete it from your phone and delete its ability to infect your phone. After you've done that, the next thing that I would recommend doing is we'll go back into the settings app. So open up the settings app. Let's go back to the very beginning of your settings. At the beginning of the settings, let's tap the general option towards the bottom. From here, let's tap on software update. And in here, you can see at the very top, it says automatic update. Tap on that and make sure security responses and system files is turned on. This allows your phone to automatically update if there are any bugs or glitches on your phone or security risks on your phone's iOS operating system. It will just automatically install those to help protect your phone. The last thing I would recommend doing is let's go back to the very beginning of your settings again. Let's tap on your name at the very top and then tap on iCloud midway down. From here, we're going to tap on iCloud backup midway down. You can see that iCloud backup and tap backup. Now we want to back up your phone and then restore it just using that backup. Again, if you suspect that your phone is infected with a virus, essentially by backing it up, all of the actual files and everything apart from the virus, you can always get everything back up and running by going back to the beginning of your settings, tapping on general, Scrolling down and we'll hit the transfer or reset iPhone from here and we'll tap the erase all content and settings. So you just backed up all of your data so you won't miss or lose any of your data after you bring everything back. But again, this will install a fresh new copy of the iOS operating system on your phone as if you just bought it. And then you can slowly start adding data back into the iPhone to make sure there aren't any issues or viruses on that new phone.